Hi everyone, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. In last video, we finished the registration in our application. And in this video, we will finish the login part. So let's start. This is our project and this time we need to come inside login activity. And when we are using Firebase, the login is also pretty easy. So what you need to do is it is same as registration. First, you need to create a private late init where and it is of type Firebase auth. So I will name the object as mauth and I will create an instance of Firebase auth. Now we need to initialize this auth object and we will do it inside on create. So here we will write mauth equals to Firebase auth dot get instance. That's it. Now we have a button in our activity login and the button is this which is button sign in so we will use this button so come back to login activity and here we will write button sign in dot set on click listener and then again we need to do some validations as we did in register activity so we can do the same here and I will just copy paste everything from here so copy everything come to login activity paste it here and make sure you are not using this activity register because this time we are inside activity login so we need to use the uh, views from this activity and not from activity register so I will delete this import and everything is fine so we have the email and the password of the user and we have all the validations now after validation we will call a function and let's call this function login user and pass email and password now here we will create a function login user so we will create private fun login user and it will take email as string and password as string. everything is good now one more thing that we forget in the last video that we also have a progress bar here inside login activity and we have this thing inside register activity as well so I forget to use this so in this video I will use this progress bar so why we have a progress bar is because when we log in the user in firebase then it is a network operation and it takes time so while the user is logging in we display the user a progress bar that means something is happening so this is why we use the progress bar so when the user logins we will display the progress bar from activity login and we will set the visibility of the progress bar to visible Oops. now we will call the function mauth dot sign in with email and password again this function takes two parameters and the parameters are email and password pretty straightforward and then we can attach an on complete listener to get a callback when this task is finished so here we can pass this because we are inside an activity and then we can put the curly braces and this is our callback function and here we have task so we can write here task instead of it you can also use it if you want now with the help of this task object we can check if task is successful that means the login is successful else we have some error so in case of error we will get the exception message so here we will write task dot exception dot message and we can write here a let to make sure this message is not null and if the message is not null we can write toast and then the it because it contains the error message so it will display the error message in case of any error now in case we have a success we will do the same thing 
that we did in registration activity so i will copy this thing basically we are starting the home activity that we should see after a successful login or registration so i will copy this and i will paste it here so this time we have login activity and we are starting home activity as you can see we are repeating the code here these lines and these lines are same so again what we can do is we can create an extension function so i will cut everything from here and inside helper i can create one more extension function which is extension of context and then i can name it login and it will take uh, it will take nothing as a parameter but we will paste this thing here val intent intent and instead of this register activity we will pass only this because we have the context here and when we will call this function it will automatically get the context of the activity from where we are calling it so this is good and then we can call start activity and intent so now instead of writing those lines again and again we can simply call login so we will do the same in login actually this is the register activity and we need to do the same in login activity as well so cut this and login good so login is also fine now one more thing we need to do is when the user is already logged in so if you will go to the manifest file this is our launcher activity which is login activity so whenever we are starting our application this activity will show up but if the user is already logged in we should go to the home activity directly and to do this i will override the function on start and one thing i forget here which is i forget to hide the progress bar so when the task is completed i will hide the progress bar and i will make it invisible or you can make it gone both will work so now let's override the function on start so this function we need to override now here first we will check if m auth or you can simply write here m auth dot current user and we can write a let here now if we come inside this let block that means the current user is not null and that means a user is already signed in so in this case we will again call the login fine yeah and we will do the same thing in home activity here again we will call the on start function or let's leave it for now so we have this on start here and we will add this on start and register activity as well and i will use the progress bar here as well from activity register dot set visibility sorry not set visibility only visibility because we are using kotlin so we have view dot visible and then when the task is completed view is gone bingo now let's try running our application to see if it is working or not so let's run this so this is our application now let's try login in so i will use the account that i used in last video to register so let's try probilal khan at gmail.com and the password is one two three four five six let's log in you can see we are seeing the progress bar and it is working now if i close the application let's close it 
and if I open it again so I think this is our application you can see we are going to the home activity directly so it is working absolutely fine so that's all for this video friends I hope you followed it successfully in case of any problem let me know the issue and I will try my best to help you out finally don't forget to share this video with your friends give me a like and you can also follow me on facebook instagram and twitter all the links are given in the description of this video so thank you guys this is bilal khan now signing off